So today's video is going to be on this look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I asked you guys a few weeks ago on Instagram what types of looks you guys wanted to see and this was second votes aside from my reverse smoky eye that I did last week. I will have that video if you guys haven't seen it. But today I wanted to recreate the look that I was wearing that you guys have voted for using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palettes and let me just say I love this palette so much. Such pretty colors and just the quality is beyond amazing. This is a look that I wanted to recreate for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, as always, give it a thumbs up. That helps me tons when you guys give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know what other look you guys would like to see next. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So today I wanted to recreate one of the looks that I posted on Instagram. If you guys are not following me there, go ahead and follow me because I post pretty much daily makeup looks and that's where I get tons of ideas for the things that I film. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my lids. I'm taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is definitely my favorite. Um, paint pot from MAC. I tried some other one and I just didn't like it. The only thing that I have to say is that this does dry really quick so you have to work with it fast. Otherwise you're gonna have patchiness on your lids. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. I'm actually just going to take this color from the palette and I'm going to be setting the eye. I'm not taking too much because it is very pigmented, but I just want to make sure that it's not sticky when I go in with the other colors so they can blend nicely. So I'm going to take raw sienna and I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. I have a mess. So let me find one. I'm going to take my favorite brush, the brush, brush. This is the Pro Tapered Blending Brush by Beauty Junkies. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to take raw sienna and I'm going to apply it on to the crease. My eyes are so red because yesterday, Sunday, we went with a whole bunch of like family friends um, up to a lake here in Utah called Pine View. And we were out there for a long time. We were pretty much all day out there. And it was so much fun. We had so much fun. Um, but my eyes are so red from the water and just, I don't know. But they're really red. And I'm going to pick up Burnt Orange, which is almost a light, a lighter, a lighter shade of raw sienna. And I'm going to apply that to the crease as well with that same brush. Again, I'm just building up the colors. The reason why I love this brush so much is because it's so big, but it's not too big where it's going to be messy. It's just like almost like that perfect size for my lids. It's super fluffy and it's so soft and it just blends all the colors so nicely. It pretty much does all the work for me. I'm gonna go in with red ochre and I'm going to apply that more directly onto the crease. I'm going to be taking this brush. This is the Pro Detailer Brush by Beauty Junkies again. And I'm just going to apply that directly onto the crease. And I'm blending everything. So now I'm gonna go in with Cypress Umber, which is a darker brown. And I'm just going to be applying that to the outer crease just to deepen it up a bit. I'm taking the Pro Crease Brush again by Beauty Junkies. I swear this is not a sponsored video. I just really like these brushes. So I'm going to apply that onto the outer crease and bringing it a little bit in. Brush again and blending. I'm 
So now I'm going to move on to the lid. I'm going to use Primavera, which is this color right here. Very pretty. And I'm actually going to apply a second color on the top. It's a little bit more intense, a little bit more pigmented than Primavera. This is called New Year, New Me. This is a shimmer shadow from City Color Cosmetics. Very pretty, super pigmented, and they're so creamy. So I'm going to apply that. First, I'm going to take this NYX eyeshadow glitter primer. And the reason why I love this is because it's sticky, so it'll stick on to my lids. I have a problem with my lid color transferring onto my crease color. I'm not sure why, but this helps me a lot because it's sticky again and it just doesn't transfer as much. So I'm just going to leave the eyes for a second. Um, I've already primed my face with the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer. This is for dry skin. Um, the reason why I use this is because, like I said, I went to the lake yesterday and my skin is so dry from the water. Uh, for my foundation, I'm going to take the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Medium Syracuse. I just recently started using this foundation again. This is definitely one of my favorites and I just, I don't know why I hadn't used it. So I'm going to take literally two pumps. And that's all I need for my entire face. I'm going to pick up a brush like this. What are these called? I guess they're foundation brushes. And I'm going to apply it onto the skin. And then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. For my concealer, I'm going to take the Kevin Aquan Sensual Enhancer Concealer in SX06. This is very thick, so a little goes a long way, and I love it because it's very thick in coverage, so it will cover a lot, but at the same time, um, you can get cakey with it, so just be careful when you apply a thick concealer because it can make you look very cakey very fast. I'm going to try out this powder. This is the Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Um, one of my friends actually sent me this. It's a little sample, so it's really, really small. But this is supposed to be a powder that you can use for baking, but it doesn't dry out your skin like other products do when you're baking because this contains hyaluronic acid which hyaluronic acid is amazing for your skin it's very good for retaining moisture so I'm gonna try this out for the first time and see how it works I'm going to bronze up my face with this bronzer by the brand Model Co we got this in one of our um, BoxyCharm boxes a while ago and I really like it To carve out my cheekbones, I'm going to take the Cheekathon by Benefits and I'm going to use Hula and then I'm going to use a little brush that came with it and I'm just going to apply my contour. I like to bronze up first and then contour. grab Dallas that blush that comes in there and I'm just going to apply that on the cheekbones I'm gonna take this dual fiber stippling brush by Luxie as well Luxie and I'm going to blend out the colors on the cheekbones and my jawline so they're not so harsh mommy duty call so I will be back in a minute so I'm gonna move on back to the eyes and I'm going to be applying my wing liner using the NYC black liquid eyeliner this is my favorite I do have a full tutorial on how I do it so I will leave a link down below So I'm just going to apply some mascara to the top lashes and I'm going to apply my falsies and then we can move on to the lower lash line. So now for the lower lash line, I'm going to repeat the same steps. I'm going to take Raw Sienna, 
um, burnt orange and red ochre and then just apply it to the lower lash line. I'm going to use this pencil brush from the, from the pretty bar and I'm going to just smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to take my favorite mascara, the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One, and I'm going to coat my bottom lashes. I'm going to be pretty heavy with that because I want my lower lashes to really stand out. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of white eyeliner. This is the J.Cat Rocker Chic Eyeliner in White. Now I'm going to take this Luxie Beauty palette that contains highlights and I'm going to take this shade right here and it is called Stiletto and it's a intense metallic gold. It looks white but when applied on the skin it is gorgeous. For my lips I'm going to take the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Ashton and I'm going to apply that on the lips and then I'm going to go in with a mannequin by Jeffree Star just on the center to make them look a little bit plump. I really wanted to fix my hair for you guys, but ugh, I just, it's not happening. So this is the end of this makeup look using, again, the Anastasia Renaissance palette. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And if you guys want to see more looks using this palette, please let me know. Ugh. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I love you guys, and I will see you on Wednesday. Love you guys. Bye.